Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this makeup look. I like to call it off-duty model vibes if she was glam. As you can see, it's a pretty natural glam. The skin is really nice and light. It's probably my favorite skin that I've done in a long time. I'm using a bunch of products that I really, really love and I think that some of you guys might already have. So it really is just a fun makeup tutorial. If you would like to see how I created this entire look, then please stay tuned. Hello. I thought we would start completely fresh out of the bed. It's quarter past nine in the morning. I have got up, I've had my breakfast, I've had my coffee, but this is what I look like. And today's video is my favorite everyday makeup at the moment. I'm gonna go so far to say is model vibes, off duty model. I don't think I'm a model, but this whole ensemble really does give me those vibes. Very Hailey Bieber, perhaps. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out my pajamas. These are one of my favorite pairs of pajamas. I feel very banana in pajamas. They're from Les Boys, Les Girls. And we're gonna change into an outfit that is very reminiscent of an off-duty model. So I'm gonna go and do that first, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got changed. I'll show you what I'm wearing at the end, but we need to fix this hair. This hair is not very off-duty model. This is my favorite hairstyle to do at the moment when it's hair washing day. Jack likes to call me a wee guy when I do this hair. I like to multitask with this hairdo and I do a little hair mask at the same time. So this is the Renaissance Circle Daveness Hair Mask Hopeless Hair Extreme Repair Hair Mask. Uh, it's really good, I've got a wee bit left of it. So what I'm gonna do is get that in my hands. I've got quite a lot left actually. And I'm just gonna start putting that through my hair. It's a kind of yellowy color until you start really dragging it through your hair. And I actually focus it on my fringe because that's the part of my hair that's probably the most damaged and I really am trying to grow my fringe out at the moment. I'm gonna take a hairbrush, drag that through. So this isn't a hair mask that's got any kind of protein in it. There's some hair masks that have keratin in them that you actually don't want to leave in your hair for too long because it can make your hair brittle. It can do the opposite of what you want it to do. This is just a really nice hydrating hair mask. And you can see once it's brushed out, you can't really tell, but it does give your hair this stickiness, which is great. Okay, so we're gonna brush our hair completely back. I mean, this isn't really a hair tutorial, but I just thought I would do it on camera because it does turn like frizzy hair and it's something that looks a lot more sleek and like on purpose. I get my fingers, run them through, and then I'm gonna get my hair at the back and I'm gonna do a twist. And then I just tie that into place with a wee bobble. So you don't want your bun to be too perfect and you don't want it to stick right out. I am quite happy with that. I've got an undercut, so if I was doing this and I didn't have an undercut, I would probably do the bun right at the nape of my neck. I've got the hair mask in, that's gonna do its job throughout the day. Just to secure everything in place, I'd use the Got To Be Glued hairspray. This is the best hairspray if you're planning on washing your hair that night because you do need to wash your hair. And I just spray that to make sure that there's no flyaways. I think it just makes it look a lot neater. And you can even use your brush just to get the sides nice and tight. And even though it's a low bun, because it's so tight, it does actually really lift the face, which I like. And it just feels nice and secure. I would say that's good. Right, I'm gonna go and wash my hands. I'm back. I washed my hands and I just did my skincare as well. I didn't film it just because I filmed a skincare video really recently. If you want to go and see what I'm using, I will link it below. Time for the makeup portion. This is definitely one of my favorite makeup looks that I've been doing recently. So I'm gonna zoom you right in so you can see everything that I'm doing. I've done my thing that I do where it keeps the lighting dark, if that makes sense. I'm really excited because I am gonna upgrade my lighting setup when we move. Uh, and my set, I'm so excited for like a new room. So I've done all my skincare and I've prepped my skin as well, I've done all my SPF and things. So I'm gonna take my Hollywood Flawless Filter. There are products in here that I've used quite a lot, but it's just such a nice makeup look and it's not a huge amount of product, which is quite nice. So I'm gonna use my Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 4.5. This is one of the newer shades. This makeup look, it's definitely is gonna look like makeup, but it's just super quick and easy, but it still looks quite glam, which I like. It's probably the makeup that I've been doing recently that makes me feel like my absolute best. So once I've got that on my face, I'm gonna take my Smith 151. It's not been cleaned, but that's fine. And I'm just gonna take one pump of my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Barcelona. Dot that in the center of my face and then 
gonna blend. So it's less coverage than I usually wear, but you'll see it just makes my skin look fresh and quite flawless. So you can see, look at that. It's honestly one of my favourite combos of all time and I think that using a little bit less of the NARS Oh my god, look, look, I just look like a new woman Quite obsessed with that and the colour match for me, like you can see, I don't even really need to bring it down my neck But I will And that is a beautiful natural glowy base and because of the products I've got underneath to hydrate and prime my skin, this really does last Okay, concealer, I have been absolutely loving this Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer This is in the shade 2.5 I think I'm going to pick up a colour that's a wee bit darker because this is quite bright I take a wee dot here, a wee dot here, a dot here He's out there. I, do, I just love doing my little nose. And then, and I'm just gonna pat it out with the same brush. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna add a little touch of brightness. I actually, as well, I really like adding just a tiny bit right above my smile lines to get that coverage right in the center of my face because we don't have that much coverage. Do you guys really like me being this close? I feel like I'm invading your personal space. Pat that out in the forehead. So it's definitely very model-esque skin, perfected, glowy, but nothing too heavy. And you'll notice I've left the concealer under my eyes, sit for the longest. And then I'm literally just going to get my brush and pat that. We get that nice brightness in the outer corner of the eye. If you are not much of a makeup wearer and you want to leave it here and add some mascara, do your brows, your lips, perfect. But I am going to do a super quick eyeshadow look. It's a look that I did recently and I actually got asked for a tutorial. I got asked for a tutorial for this look. I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the shade number two. I really love this powder and I'm just going to sweep that under my eyes just to set that in place. And then I like to just use it around the areas of my face that move the most or get oily. So my chin, smile lines, in between my eyebrows because I can do this right now. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade number 3. So this is actually a little bit dark for me but I just use less product. So if you are my skin tone and you want something super easy I would go for the shade lighter, number 2. But this one for me... I quite like. I'm just going to keep my bronzer super high. Not going to contour the face too much. Want to use my bronzer to kind of shape and define my face while adding a tiny bit of warmth. I'm super pale right now, so I can afford to go a little bit lighter with my bronzer. I think it looks nice. And because the coverage we've done is quite light, you can kind of still see my skin. Like, that's just nice to me. I think that looks lovely. And then a little touch around the nose. Isn't that nice? It's just really natural, really, really lovely. I'm gonna just hit it one time with a blush. And that's just gonna breathe life, light, and accomplishment into our complexions and into our day. Look at that, I just look like I've had the best night's sleep. Which actually I did sleep really well last night. I've been reading before bed instead of going on my phone. I do not go on my phone when I'm in my bed at all anymore. And I just I fall asleep so much quicker. So it's making me feel much better. Okay, I'm going to highlight my skin. I think glowy skin is up there with one of the most important things for a look like this. Glowy skin, fresh brows, nothing too structured. So I'm going to go in with the Vibe Nova Glow Highlighter in the shade Holy Chic. Uh, you can see that I've been using this. And I love to apply where I want it, but then use my brush and really just buff that into the skin. So you've not got a stripe of highlighter, you've got an all over radiance. So when you move your face in and out of the light, it just catches. It gives the illusion of healthier skin rather than I've got highlighter on, if that makes sense. It just looks like my, my skin's naturally buoyant and juicy. Even though we're wearing super light, makeup it's great to set your face anyway it'll just lock it in place and it'll just it'll make it wear much longer so i'm going to use the all nighter setting spray by urban decay soak my face you can see how much setting spray i use i use a lot so i'm going to let my face sit and dry off i'm going to start working on my brows while i wait for my base to dry off i'm going to use my benefit 24 hour brow setter and i'm going to take my time to really coat my brow hairs and we're going for a natural bushy brow and I'm not gonna really fill them in, I'm gonna just use my brow gel. If you do not have brow hairs and you need to draw your brows on and you're wanting to go for something more natural, I would just use a lighter color than you usually do. You can get away with a lot more and you can go 
pretty heavy and it will never look that heavy because it's a lighter colour. I like to get these front brow hairs looking pretty straight up. As I go to detail my brow, I just start brushing up and out almost. And then I'm gonna go in with the Gimme Brow from Benefit. This is the shade 4.5, so it's a bit darker. And I'm gonna start in the middle of the brow and just start to work that in. This just gives your brows a slightly deeper color, a little bit more fluffiness, a little bit more bushiness, I guess. And because of the tiny little brush, you can really shape where you want your hairs to go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's just natural, natural brows. This is just what my brows look like. Now that my setting spray is dried, I like to go in with the powder again. I actually might use a bigger brush now. I'm going to use a big fat brush just to apply a little light layer of powder. But we've still got that lovely glossy looking skin underneath. Like I said before, if you don't want to wear eye makeup, stop at this step. Do some mascara, do your lip and you're done. But I want to show you the most beautiful mustard eye makeup. I just think it looks so gorgeous. And I'm going to use the Viva Essential palette for it. And we're going to use the shades Buff and Chow. Wait till you see this. It's super nice. I need an eye primer, so I'm just going to use a dot of concealer on each lid. And I'm just going to pat that out. Make sure it's nice and even and there's no sticky bits. And all the tones in the lid that we've just cancelled out, we're going to add back in. So, we're going to go in with the shade buff. And when I pick up these shadows, I literally just tap, tap, tap. And I give it a little whack with my pinky. And we're just going to start nice and high. And this colour is really lovely by itself. But when it's mixed with chow, you get that amazing mustardy undertone. They just look so lovely together. So there's buff and then I'm going to go in with chow and I'm going to just pat that and go straight onto the eye. So that's what I've used on the lid. Think of it like an artist. An artist mixes their paints. I'm going to mix, I'm going to mix my paints and then we're going to go on top of the eye. And because it's such a light, soft eye look, you can really bring those shadows nice and high up in the inner corner and lift that at the tail of the brow as well. Pretty nice, huh? And I'm just using the one brush for easiness and quickness. Bringing that right up. I'm going to go in with just the shade buff and I'm going to continue to lift this end right up into my hairline. And what that does is it just pulls this up and if you're like me and you have not been able to get your Botox top ups, you have to create your own brow lift. And that's fine. That's fine. And because of the finish of the matte shadows, that's going to lock the concealer in and you're not going to get any crease in at all. It's such a nice colour. It's quite unique, I think. I feel like I used to do eye makeups like this quite a lot, but oh my goodness. Definitely one of my favourites. So from here, I literally just add tons of mascara. So this is the Benefit Roller Lash, oldie but goodie. And I'm just gonna start slowly building up my lashes. And you can see because we've gone for a really nice light eyeshadow, your lashes stand out against it. I'm gonna leave my lower lashes and lower lash line free of product. I just think it makes my eyes look super awake. Yeah, I really like the way it looks just on top of the eye. This is the Benefit Ruler Liner in the shade brown and I'm just gonna do my freckle here. I am gonna do my other freckle today. I'm gonna do it right here. Time for lips. Now this is somewhere that I like to still do a nice big overdrawn lip. So I'm just going to sharpen my pencil. I'm going to be using the Modern Lip Definer in the shade Brat by Vive because if I show you, look at the tiny size of this. See, for an everyday lip for me, this lip liner with the kind of lip product that I'm going to show you is exquisite. So I'm going to take my time to sketch my lips. Oh my god, look at that colour. And I just overdraw. Look at the difference that makes. It's amazing. So I just take my time to make sure that they're as even as possible. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit wonky in the old geography of the face, but I just do my best. Okay, to finish off my lips, I'm going to use the YSL Volupte Liquid Colour Balm, and this is in the shade number three, so you can see the wee colour swatch at the bottom. Loved these when they came out. I remember, oh god, I think it was about three years ago they came out, but they are so great, and especially when you have enhanced your lip with a lip liner, when you use a product like this in the centre, it makes it look super natural. So I'm going to just 
Oh my God, it smells like watermelon. Slight tint, but it's more like a lip balm. And I just think for that effortless lip that you do not need to touch up through the day because it's gonna fade really beautifully. I mean, you can if you want. The lip liner's gonna stay put, but the liquid color balm, because of the nature of the product, it's just gonna fade really, really beautifully through the day. Really nice for under a mask because it's not sticky. It's more like a, like a balm texture. And I just think it's stunning. I'm gonna elevate this look one time. I'm just gonna do one thing. I'm gonna take my Tatty Lashes and TL Jamie one and I'm gonna do a tiny little half lash. I say tiny little because it's not even a half lash, it's less than that. And I get questions asking, what do you do with the rest of your lash? The answer is I keep it. I've got loads of little trimmings of different lashes. It means I can like Frankenstein lashes if I want. So if I show you, it's literally tiny little sprig. And because it's such a tiny little lash, it's really, really easy to apply. Because I spent so long doing my mascara and it looks nice, um, they're just gonna blend, it's gonna be great. Stick that right to the end of my eye. So when you give them a really good squeeze and get them right in at that lash line, it does look pretty seamless. If you're finding that your half lashes are looking really obvious, you might be using a set of lashes that are too long for you. So try a shorter pair and I guarantee this trick really will work for everyone. It's just finding that right lash for you. And if you need to, you can go back in with your mascara and make sure that they are super blended. Do you see I've got a wild little bit of hair? More fun facts for you, get your brow gel. That ain't going anywhere. Is that it? Am I done? If we really want to lean into the look, finish your ensemble. For an outfit, I really like following different fashion accounts, but honestly, I think like Hailey Bieber is such a great like inspo. I think she looks great. So I've got here uh, a little hoop. Like I said, this is kind of like off duty models, but a bit more glam because of how much makeup I'm wearing. But you could stop at any point, okay? It's worth mentioning. But with my clothes, I've gone for a oversized hoodie. My leggings, which are super comfy, these are from Aloe Yoga. They've got little slits in them. White t-shirt. My hoodie's from Anina Bing, so it is a wee bit more expensive, but the quality is amazing, it's so good. I would chuck on a denim jacket over my hoodie. And you just need a pair of sunglasses, block out the haters. These are the Desi sunglasses on red. Look at that glow on my skin. Oh, just my favourite. So you guys, that is the finished makeup look. I hope you really liked it. I feel chic and fancy now, which is so funny because if you look at it, I'm actually still wearing leggings and a jumper. But it's just all about how you, how you piece together the look. I feel like I'm a bit of a pro at being extremely comfortable but looking somewhat presentable. I'll link everything that I used down below as always. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. I did my little freckle. I nearly hit myself in the face there. You know how you see those Instagrams and it's waking up in the morning routines. I get up, I put my matching two-piece loungewear set on, I make my coffee and then I dance around my living room in the sunshine. This is what I look like when I wake up in the morning. There's something really creepy about saying that. This is my favorite skin that I wear. Maybe I'm gonna try and make an effort. No, I'm not. Is that a rogue eyelash wanting to come out? No, you're still there, are you? Make a wish. <sighs> Why is my laptop? Overheating. Oh, there's a dog. There's a dog barking. It gives this really nice and bright, uh, awake quality. Awake quality. It really. <laughs> by building up that little friendship section. Build up the little friendship section one more time.